Okay, section 1.1. Let's talk about functions. So when we're thinking about a function, it's going to be a rule or relationship where we connect together an input and an output. And we're going to say the output is a function of the input. So basically you're going to plug in some value. It's going to go through whatever the process is in the function and it's going to output a different value. So as we take a look at this, we always have our function name. In this case, it's f. We're going to have some input value inside of this function. It'll go inside the set of parentheses. And then on the other side will be some output. So let's jump right into one of these examples. I know it says example two, but it's our first example. Let's ignore that for right now. So as we're thinking about this, I know reading math can be a bit challenging for students in general. So let's take a look at this. We have some function n equals f of y. And this gives the number of police officers n in the town in the year Y. So let's try to interpret what does F of 2005 equals 300 tell us. So we have an input here of 2005. That's replacing the Y in this function. And Y stands for the year. So we can say in the year 2005. Well, what's our output? We have 300 as our output. That's occupying n spot in this case, and n represents the number of police officers. All right, so in the year 2005, this town has 300 police officers. All right, I understand that reading math takes a little bit of effort. Um, but just kind of line up where things are input and where they're outputs and then identify what those represent based on the words. All right. It can be a challenge, but it gets easier the more you practice it. Good luck.